Hello guys, welcome back to the Tarot Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix lies of P which is having crashing issue. The game is rolled out and it is actually in the demo and many users are having the trouble when they are trying to play the game. They are facing crashing, note launching, freezing and stuttering, black screen, low FPS drop and many other issues. So in this video we're going to talk about some of the possible workarounds that can be done. The first one is all about you have to start with a restart. When you are having a trouble on any game, we can start with a simple restart. For that just go over here, click on this one, go for a simple restart. Once restart is successfully done, just try launching the game and that's what we have to do. Once restart is successfully done, see whether the issue is solved. Most probably the issue might solve or may not solve, it depends. But if it's not working, we have to move to the next step, which is the first one that is all about. We need to verify integrity of game file. For that, we just need to go over here and select the game, right click and go to the properties. Now go to local file. Now from here click here on verify integrity of demo files. So actually the, the game is in demo. So just click on this one. This is going to take a little bit of time. So what happens is this is going to cross check every single files of the game. And this is going to make sure that is no thing is corrupted or it is not having an issue. If any issue is there, like if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by particular by using this particular step. So verify integrity of game file is actually an important step and we need to try this out. This is an important step. So you can try this out verify integrity of game file. Once this being set, I mean this reach 100% reach and you are having the play button over here. Just click on the play button and try launch the game and that's what we have to do. So once it successfully reached 100%, which is going to take a little bit of time because the game is around 23.14 GB, which is quite good. So uh, I need to wait this to reach 100%. Each. Once reached this, you'll be getting the uh, play button over there. Just click on the game and try launch the game. This should be worked or else we'll move to the next step. Next step is all about launch the game from the installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam, we need to launch the game from installation folder. This did work out for many users. So we have a shortcut. Then go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties, go to local file, click on browse. This will redirect it to the installation folder. If you check at the top, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, lies of P demo. And over here you can launch the game. So this is what you need to launch the game. So instead of launching the game from Steam, try launching the game from installation folder. This will work for, you, uh, work for you guys as well. Next one is all about, same here we can do the step from this particular step itself. That is we need to run the game as an administrator. For running the game as an administrator, we need to do the same step. Go over here in the game, right click and go to properties, go to local file, click on browse. This will redirect it to the installation folder. Now from here select the application, right click and go to show more options and properties, compatibility. Now from here go to run this program as an administrator, select this one, go for apply and go for ok. Try this and try launch the game. If this is not working, we have one more step, parallel additional step which is run the game in compatibility mode. For this right click and go to show more options, go to properties once again, go to compatibility. Now from here click on run this program in compatibility mode. Change this one to from Windows 8. We are having many options. First go for Windows 7. Go for apply and go for ok. Next one change this to Windows 8. So go for either 7 or 8. Go for apply and go for ok. And try launching the game. So you can try with run the game as an administrator as well as launching the game in the compatibility mode. For some users this did work it. But even if you are moving to the next one, even you tried this and still not working, then you are moving to the next step. I would like to make you make a few change. That is, you can undo this step, keep run this program as an administrator, undo this step and go for apply and go for ok and close this and try launch the game. Next one is all about, you can try with change the Windows language to English. We all use Windows language and as you can see, so here the language is completely in English, but some of you guys might be playing the game with uh, for example you might be using any native language like Japanese Chinese etc that might be causing the issue so you need to change the language we'll go over here in the search go to settings over here search for settings you can search for settings now from here go to time and language go to language and region 
from here go for add language search for english set the language to english over here you can see the english is the language go back now go to date and time over here now from here you have to make sure the current date that is time and time zone should be automatically turned on so here this is turned on as well as this is also turned on so you have to turn this on as well now close this and go back and see whether the issue is solved or else we'll move to the next step that is all about we need to launch the game using alt and tab so just click on the play button when you're clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard i don't know how this is related but this did work it for many users so just press alt and tab together from the keyboard just press alt and tab together from the keyboard this did work it for many users and this will work for you as well now launch the game afterwards next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file for that we just need to go over here in the search go to this pc now from here go to documents now from here you will be able to find the game that is life of pi you will be able to find the folder because if it's already saved that means game is already saved progressions each progressions are saved automatically you will be having a folder so if you find the folder just delete the game you'll be losing all the progressions but that is fine just delete it and once afterwards close this and go back and see whether the issue is solved even if still it is persisting we need to move to the next step that is all about we need to allow the game to windows security for that we just need to go over here in the search now go for control panel now from here go to uh, you just need to go over here network and internet now from here go to i think over here just click on network and sharing center not there just go back okay just go over here system and security now from here go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we need to search for the game so the game is answer is in alphabet you just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to life that means starting with l so keep scrolling down and you will be able to find l over here okay okay life of p is sorry life of p is actually added make sure the private and public is set once it's not set and you wanted to add it by default you can add it so imagine if it's not there so you can add it default for that just click on change settings now go for allow another app go for browse now from here go to this pc go to local disk c keep scrolling down to program x file 86 steam folder steam apps common now from here go to life of p demo select this one and go for open and go for add so i'm getting the error because it's already added so if it's not added this is how you can add it once you add this just close this go back and try launching the game next one is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices so you might be connected to many things for example might be connected with joysticks might be connected to multiple monitors maybe you'll be having any logitech wheels etc if anything is there just remove everything from the usb port keep it clean once afterwards just click on the play button okay click on the play button and launch the game after game is successfully launched if you wanted to play the game with the controller just connect back the controller and see whether the issue is solved next step is all about we can try with performing a clean boot for that just go over here in the search we can search for system configuration go for services go for uh, hide disable all first go for hide all microsoft service support and check on this go for apply then it might ask you for a restart for example i'll show you just click on this one go for disable go for apply go for okay this is asking for a restart so you, sh you should be going restart for everyone who is watching this they should go for restart but we are in the middle of video so i'm going to go for exit without a restart after restart is successfully done most probably the issue has to be fixed or else next step is all about we need to disable the steam overlay for that just go over here in the game right click and go to properties now from here go to enable the steam overlay while in game so just select this one so if it is already blank then no, fine with this or else you have to uncheck this and once after that try launch the game if that is not working go over here in the launch option the first command is dx11 go with the dx11 try launch the game dx11 is not working try with the command dx12 and launch the game as well so you can try with dx11 as well as dx12 try with any one of the thing if no things are working that means after giving both the commands if still not working remove the command from the launch option close this and move to the next step 
next step is all about we need to close all the overlay application so we need to close all the overlay application for that just go over here in the start right click and go to task manager right now as you can see there are only three things running in the background but this will not be the same for many users who are watching this you will be having tons of apps which is running in the background which all these apps are actually utilizing a ram which is causing the issue so overlay as well as overclocking application which is one of the main reason why we are having the trouble so if any unwanted things are running in the background for example discord which comes under the category of overlay application you need to remove it if if you find anything over there like overclocking application remove it as well once after that just close this and go back and try launching the game next one is all about we need to do this we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search go for graphics settings now from here once you set this up you can see these are the games i have already added similarly i need to add this game go for browse now from here go to local disk c i'll go over here i'll show you just click on this one local disk c program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam go for steam apps go for common now from here go to lies of p demo select this one and add it so it is already added now go for option over here as you can see this is let windows decide change this to high performance change this to high performance go for save once after that try launch the game most probably the issue has to be worked because this particular step did work for many users in my knowledge many people commented on the conversations and uh, say thank you so much for showing us this so this is an important step it's actually crucial step you can try this out or else move to the next step which is all about increase virtual memory for that we just need to go over here in the search go for view advanced system setting go to advanced go for setting once again go to advanced go for change go for custom size uncheck this give the value initial size as well as maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and maximum size is 3 times the total ram so over here i know what is my ram so i need a calculator to do few calculation so i'll do with this so the ram of my computer is 32 gb so just multi uh, type your ram so some of you uh, some of you guys might be 8 16 etc just type your ram multiply with a constant value that is 1024 just multiply with this multiply with 1.5 because initial size is 1.5 times the total ram that is 30 uh, 49152 so just paste it next one is all about uh next one is all about you need to try with this one that is all about you have to try with uh that is all about you can go for next step that is maximum size that is you have to try with this one 32 gb into 1024 that is multiply it with 3 that is 98304 so just copy this and paste it as well go for okay and close this close everything close this as well and move to the next step next step is all about you can try with after this setting the virtual memory this uh, this should be worked uh, as well this should be done most probably you can try with this if it's that's not working we can move to the next step that is all about we need to update the windows for that just go over here in the search go to settings over here then go to windows update make sure the windows is up to date and once after that most probably try launching the game make sure it is all about you need to uninstall and reinstall the game sometimes that might work as well so for uninstalling go over here go to manage uninstall the game for reinstall it back you need to go over here in this pc and make sure you should not be installing the game back on same local disk try changing the position of local disk and play the game and keep in mind there is one one more thing which i would like to forget that is you need to update the graphics card which is an important step for that just go over here in the game i'll be providing in the description i'll be providing this link for for the nvidia as well as for the amd nvidia users go over here try launching this i mean uh, selecting every details of your configuration now go for start search you'll be getting the option over here once you go over here you will be getting the options just download this one and install this this is the 531.98 version which is released on 10th of may so just download this one and install this on your pc if you're on the amd just go over here select every simple details and go for submit once after that just download windows 11 or windows 10 and install this on your pc and try launching the game last and least step is all about try installing microsoft visual c++ so i'll be providing link in the description 
So just download this one and install this on your PC and try launch the game. So these are the possible workarounds which can be done. And most probably when you try this, the issue regarding this has to be fixed and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.